Lecture 7, Module 2, Demaic Analyze Stage 2. Verify cause and effect, the chi-square test. In this module, we'll be looking at just the chi-square test itself. Again, how different are the data? Chi-square is used to compare observed data with data we would expect to obtain, the expected data, as specified in our hypothesis, whatever that may be. Chi-square is similar to the one-way ANOVA, but is used to compare proportions and percentages instead of continuous data. Chi-square can also test if a specific statistical model fits your data. For example, the logistic regression model on Minitab uses a chi-square goodness of fit test to determine whether it adequately models your sample data. Chi-square can also be used to test the independence between categorical, categorical variables, and we'll look at an example of this at the end. The formula for chi-square is chi-square equals sum of the observed minus the expected squared over the expected. Now, how different are the data? For example, if you are tossing a fair coin and counting the number of heads versus tails, you would probably expect the ratio to be 50-50. And what if you toss the coin 20 times and get hit eight, tail, eight, eight heads and 12 tails? Is this close enough to say the coin is a fair coin? Or is the coin biased? How much difference can there be before you conclude that something other than just random variation is at play? Chi-square is another type of test of the null hypothesis where we look to demonstrate that there are no significant differences between observed results and expected results. An example of the application of chi-square familiar to all students of biology is a test of Mendel's law of inheritance. Based on his work with pea plants, Gregor Mendel postulated that characteristics were inherited based on a pair of genes, or alleles, one of which is dominant and the other recessive, and that the parent only passes one allele down to its offspring. A parent that possesses both dominant alleles is homozygous dominant, both recessive alleles is homozygous recessive, and one of each alleles is a heterozygous dominant form. So for example, if we cross two pea plants that are heterozygous dominant for green color, yellow would be recessive, then we would expect the offspring to follow the ratio shown in the Punnett square below, in that there would be a ratio of 3 to 1 of green offspring to yellow offspring. The chi-square test has been used to test whether Mendel's hypothesis is correct or not for various inherited characteristics by evaluating the characteristics of the observed offspring versus the characteristics of the expected offspring. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Now in this example, we will look to see if a packaging supervisor's claim that there is no difference in the underfilling of cough syrup packaged on four different bottle, line, bottle filling lines is true or not. Five bottles were taken every 30 minutes, weighed, and the number of underfills were recorded. Note, the four lines did not run for the same length of time, so a different number of samples were taken. The data is shown at left below in a two-way categorical, var categorical variable table. At right is the Minitab dialog box for performing a chi-square test. So we will select all four lines, the data for all four lines uh, that would appear in the in Minitab as, as shown to the left, and put them into the uh, chi-square test. Now below is the output from the Minitab's uh, session window. We see our cate categorical and a variable of columns and rows here. And let's look at line four. Here we see the observed number not underfilled, and then the expected number not underfilled. Uh, Minitab will estimate uh, the expected results uh, based on the data that is input. The chi-square value is calculated from the observed and the expected values using the equation in slide three. Then we take the sum of all of the chi-square values and to, to arrive at the chi-square statistic, which is compared to the chi-square distribution. And we get the p-value from that of 0 0.003. So the p-value is less than 0 0.05, so there is a difference. Now we reject the null hypothesis and the packaging supervisors claim at the same time.